A group of prominent Canadian women are leading a national campaign to make what they call a gender neutral adjustment to the national anthem. Thanks for that. Making uh, language more gender neutral is something that I would support for sure. Leave it alone. We've given the women enough. Now among the notable names of ladies spearheading this crusade, you've got the Right Honourable Kim Campbell, who was Canada's only ever female Prime Minister in 1993, as well as popular author Margaret Atwood. Oh Canada, our home and native land. Now the song O Canada originally has its roots in French. In all our sons in 1913, after a few modified translations into English, Judge Robert Stanley Weir's version had the second line of the song changed from Thou dost in us command to In all thy sons command. It's been that way ever since, and now it's still that same second line that's causing a Canadian kerfuffle. There we go. In all thy sons command. That last line you sang, in all thy sons command, they want to change it to in all of us command. I think it would be nice to change it. I think that would bring equality, I guess. Well, they have a valid point, actually, now that I think about it. Yeah, like, it is about us, and Canada is about us, so yeah, maybe it's a valid point, yeah. Um, I kind of agree with it, because it's, but at the same time, I'm not sure. Does it bother you that it's in all thy sons rather than in all of us. No, it does not bother me what at all. I know I'm a woman. I know you're a man. I don't have a problem with that. I think that we try and change a lot of things, but it doesn't really, it doesn't mean anything different now as it did then. It's it's quite silly to try and change something that's such a part of our culture, such a part of our history. And I don't think it was meant to be offensive then, and offense, I don't think it's offensive now. I guess like the All Life Sons Command is sort of like a, it sounds, it does sound very militaristic, right? Command is like a military term, so it's like, the sons who are going to defend our country. I mean, the whole point of anthems is to sort of rally the patriotic fervor so that people can somehow be convinced to die for a line on a map, <laughs> which right. is really silly, right? I have no feelings either way. I'm very neutral about it. Can you see why some women would be offended by it, though? All our sons command, yes, but just leave it. I just feel it should stay the same. Aren't there more important things to deal with? <laughs> more pressing things they should be thinking about, like the pipeline they want to put through. I don't think that's a good idea. For more information on this issue at hand, you can visit the website restoreouranthem.ca. From Victoria, I'm James Green. God keep our land glorious and free. Hey, Canadian flag on your sweater, love that. Oh, can